I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on displaying group data. In this video, we'll understand how to display information back to back in STEM plots. The question here is, height in centimeters of 20 students in high school is as follows. So boys information is given. It is given in a particular order, increasing order. Similarly, the girls information about the height in centimeters is given in increasing order. So you don't really have to arrange this part. Now the question here is, draw back to back stem leaf plots to show this data. And part B is, what is the range of height of boys and girls? So let's try to understand the concept of back to back. And how is it related with these stem plots, right? So these are two parts. So when we talk about the stem plots, one number goes into the leaf part, the others remain in the stem. That's the whole idea. Now, let's see first, let's plot boys data, right? So to plot boys data, what we could do here is, we'll do boys data on the right side. So in this stem part, we see that the values could be 16, 17, 18, right? So those are the values. In the girls' data, we do see 14, 15 also in addition to 16s. So I'm going to leave some space here so that we could add girls' data in the same plot. We are looking for a back-to-back -back stem leaf plot, right? So the idea here is to plot boys' data on the right side and the girls' data on the left side. So keeping that in mind, the group in the center, I'll place this with 14, 15 to 18, right? So I'll write here 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, correct? So these are the heights of students in hundreds, right? Three digits. So the last digit will go in the leaf part, 165. That means 16 and then 5, 165, 168, 58, 170, okay, 171, 174, 174 is again 175, and then 6, and then 7, 180. So these are the 10 data elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 110 for the boys. Now, the key here is that 16 5 means what it means 165 centimeters correct that is what it means now let's try to place the data for girls and we'll make it as a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot so 149 we have 14 here we'll place 9 here so the key now becomes let's write down the key for girls key is if I write 9, 14, it really means what? It means 149. Do you see that? That is the key. Now, it's kind of important to clearly write what key is, right? Otherwise, uh, these numbers do not make much sense, right? Okay. 152, 15 and 2, 152, 154, 4 comes here, 156. Then we have 9, 160, so 160, 162, 166, 167, and 169. So we get all the information. So we get all the information right there, and this is what you call a back-to-back -back stem leaf plot, right? So, so this is what we have back-to-back. We just call it stem plot or diagram. Okay. So we're done part A of this particular question. Now B is, what is the range of height of boys and girls? So range, as you know, is highest to minus a minimum value. So let's write down the range for girls. So the range here is the maximum 169 minus 149. Correct. So which is 20. As far as boys are concerned, the range is what? Range for boys 
is 180 is the highest value, right? Take away the lowest, which is 165. That gives you 5, and then 7 take away 6 will be 1. So we get 15. So, so in this case, we get a range of 15. So from the data, we know the range for the girls is much more than that for the boys, right? So 20 and 15 is our answer. So that is how we are going to find range of both boys and girls, maximum minus minimum value. So I hope now both the things are absolutely clear. How to plot a back-to-back -back stem uh, diagrams and how to read the information from them. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.